For this lab, you'll need your milk observation lab sheet, some milk, some food coloring, a pie tin, and some detergent. I'm using non-fat milk in this experiment, and I'm also using liquid dish detergent. For step one, you'll pour a little bit of milk in the bottom of the tin. It really doesn't matter how much, just so that you cover it barely. Step two says what's going to happen when you put drops of food coloring into the milk. At this time you should pause the video to think about that and to write down anything you already know about these chemicals of milk and detergent and food coloring. Then write your hypothesis on the lab sheet where it says what do you think will happen. Go ahead and pause the video now. Now we're going to add the food coloring. And as we do this, we're going to write down three observations. I'll use some different colors. Here's a drop of blue. There's the green. I've got a couple of drops in there. It doesn't really matter how much you put in there. Drop of yellow. And lastly, I'll put in a drop of red. Now go ahead and write down three observations that you see occurring. For example, you may notice that the first two drops I put in are already starting to slowly grow in size as they spread out through the milk. You may pause the video as you write these observations. Also draw a sketch at the bottom of the page on step three where it says draw a sketch of your observation after five minutes. Go ahead and pause the video now so that you may do that. On the back of the lab sheet it says what will happen when you put one drop of detergent into the milk? Are there any things you already know about this? It also says, before you do this, write another hypothesis. What do you think will happen now? Go ahead and pause the video to write down anything you already know about detergent and also what you think will happen. Okay, here we go with a drop of detergent. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try to squeeze in just one drop. I got about a drop and a half in there. You can see a lot of movement going on. So write down three observations that you see occurring. I'm going to zoom in for a little bit better view. As best you can, you should draw a sketch of what you see on step 5. You may pause the video to draw your sketch. Step 6 asks about conclusions. Why is this doing what it did? Well, it turns out that milk is a polar molecule. What that means is that it's somewhat sticky or magnetic in a sense. You probably noticed this about water before, that you can actually fill a glass of water above the rim because it sticks to itself due to its polarity. When we put the food coloring into the milk, they don't mix very well because the milk wants to stick to itself and the food coloring wants to stick to itself. Once you add detergent though, it rearranges the polarity of the milk so it is no longer a polar molecule and neither is the food coloring. At that point the two can mix together quite easily as you see. That's my theory about why this works. Now you could test this theory in different ways. For example, what would happen if I didn't use non-fat milk? 
if I used whole milk? What would happen if I used maybe a soy milk or an almond milk? What would happen if I used a different type of detergent? Or also, what would happen if I didn't use milk at all but just used water? Is milk important or is it the water that's in the milk that makes this happen? Those are experiments you can try yourself at home if you wish.